Hey guys, it's Alana, and today I'm gonna cover everything pickiness. Cause a lot of you have been writing in and saying, what do I do if I'm a picky adult or I have a picky kid? How do I overcome this? So the first question I got was, how do I overcome the fear of trying new vegetables? And Krista H wrote in and asked, how do I get myself to like vegetables as an adult who never has? So it's a great question. Um, the best way to do it is first by just being more open-minded and understanding that our taste buds are always changing and what influences us and our habits and behaviors are always changing and evolving too. And just because you didn't like these certain steamed or sad looking or ill-prepared veggies as a kid does not mean you're not gonna like them now. So my first tip is to go to a restaurant you already love. If you love how they're grilling their steak or making their pizza, you'll probably like how they're sauteing their spinach. So go to a restaurant you already enjoy and just start playing with their side vegetable department and getting their roasted cauliflower sauteed spinach because if you like how they're doing other things, you might enjoy veggies at their place and then you could ask the waiter or anyone behind the counter how they made it and start infusing those cooking methods and veggies into your own home. I also really recommend you work with the dishes you already love. If you love store-bought mac and cheese, I recommend just getting like a frozen block of broccoli florets and defrosting them and stirring it into the mac and cheese because you get all that flavor you love and now all of a sudden you're eating a lot more broccoli and you really can't even tell the difference and it'll start getting you in the steps and directions to be more open-minded that broccoli can taste delicious when you do different things to it. You could do the same thing with the lasagna. If right now you're taking meat sauce or ricotta cheese mixture and noodles and tomato sauce and you're layering it, just slip in a nice layer of like thickly sliced eggplant or zucchini, you'll probably not even realize that it's there. But in the meantime, you and your family and everyone around you is eating more veggies and being more welcome to their textures and their flavors and all the nutrition that they can offer you. These are great ways to start incorporating more veggies in. And do not be closed-minded because there are so many new ways and cool recipes and ideas that are constantly being coming out by creative cooks, like cauliflower rice. If you like meatballs and rice, you'll probably like meatballs and cauliflower rice. I am telling you, try it and see for yourself, okay? If you like vodka sauce, try it with zucchini noodles mixed in with the noodles and pasta you already enjoy. You don't have to go full on in and only eat salads. You can start manipulating your foods into fun stir fries with different marinades and keep being more open-minded and welcome to trying new things. Because if you're not allergic, you'll probably not have any sort of reaction that a little sip of water cannot flush away. And my next question I got is, how do you give snacks to picky kids? Well, there are great ways. Picky kids tend to eat with their eyes. So I'm a really big fan of cute little containers. I always send my daughter to school with a lot of little containers. You can get these at any market. And you just fill them with different fruits and vegetables. Like this is blueberries. And when you open it, it feels like you're getting a little present. Also, become a fan of a mandolin slicer. You just take a little cucumber or a pepper or an apple and you can slice it in to these fun little chips. And then you can sprinkle it with like a little lemon juice and salt and it tastes like a little chip or put a little, you know, salad dressing into another little kip, into another little cup for dipping. And that way you're getting veggies into a good crisp texture that kids can really be open-minded to. I also love playing with different colors of fruits and vegetables. If your kids said they don't like red cherry tomatoes, well then try yellow ones and also have fun with it. You know, put them up to your eyes and call them eyeballs. Okay, kids love that. When you smile and you engage it and you role model by eating it too, they will come along. And I love string cheeses for kids because they get to hold in their hand and feel empowered. Um, little guacamole cups because they don't brown. And also like when I do things like apple slices, I always put lemon juice over so they don't brown as well because picky kids are not gonna eat an apple if it goes brown. So you gotta work with them a little bit and do these little tricks so make it so it's more welcoming and appealing to the eye so they'll eat it more. And of course, Daily Sunshine is designed for the picky eater of mine. Organic, blended fruits and vegetables, 10 grams of plant-based protein, and tastes like a milkshake. So of course you can always work with these things. And once your kid starts liking this, you could always add in that, you know, Power Greens boost to it too. And you never know, kids will surprise you. Do not assume that your kid is picky just because maybe you are. Kids will surprise you. They'll like a soup with a lot of roasted garlic in it. Soups are also another great way to deal with pickiness. If you have an immersion blender or a good blender, you can almost blend and boil up any good vegetable in a soup, puree it, and 
You don't even have to know what's in it. It always tastes good, okay? So really feel free to use stir fries, use lasagnas, use all these other kind of dishes you love, like mac and cheese, to throw in more veggies and just be more open to the concept of getting over your pickiness because it's more fun for everyone else around you too. Here, I'm just covering a couple of my best tips on pickiness, but please keep writing in the comments below of what you want me to cover next. And if you like this video and want more, please give us more thumbs up. Love you guys and have a great week.